Hi, Scorpios. I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So we're going to jump into this reading, guys. I'm not sure what's going to come out. So definitely take what resonates, leave what doesn't when it comes to the channel message reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. So definitely hit the subscription button, okay? Keep in mind, guys, that I am open for a personal reading. So if you are interested, the link will be down in my description box. Also, don't forget to check out my Scorpio merch. I do have items that I'm selling for Scorpios. All right, so definitely check that link out in the description. I also do sell candles for Scorpio and all the other zodiac signs, as well as angel numbers, spiritual uh, meanings on the, on the candles. So definitely check that out. That link is also down in the description box, okay? All right, spirit angels and guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages for Scorpios. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, anything that's not serving me of my highest good or my Scorpio family, I ask that you return it back to sender. 10,000 fold, so more to be. Amen and amen. All right, overall energy for Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio. Okay, so what we have here, the number 22, official person, official person. So this could be someone who is very important in your life or is important in your life, Scorpio. Official person can be a mother, father, husband, wife, someone who's very important, who has a title in your life. The number 22 may resonate with you guys. You may have known this person 22 years, possibly four years. Hmm. This could have been someone who served in the military. This person has like a badge of honor. This is someone who is a divine masculine, divine feminine energy, a chosen one, earth angel energy. This can also be a spirit guide, an ancestor. So let's get into to see what is or who is this personal, um, this official person, excuse me. <clears throat> let's see here. Let me grab. Oh, actually, let me use another deck here. All right, spirit angels and guys, tell us about this official person. Who is this official person? What is it that the Scorpios are needing to know? This is someone I'm getting like a high honor. Someone who has been granted to be the official person by the spiritual realm. Tell us about official person. Thank you. Oh, wow. So we have heartbreak here, sadness, loss, depression, and grief. So whoever this official person is, they're heartbroken. Like I said, this could have been someone who was in your life. Hmm. Wow. We have distance at the bottom of the deck and we have boredom. So this is someone that you separated from. You guys have distance between each other and whoever this official person is, they're very heartbroken about the distance. They're bored without you. Hmm. All right. So let's get some more here. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, let me use this deck. Tell me about official person and heartbreak. What's going on here, spirit? Clarify official person and heartbreak. What's going on here? Official person and heartbreak. What is this about? This, whoever this official person is, they're going through some sadness, some grief, three of swords energy. Wow, we have a feminine energy here. And then we have chemistry. So this official person is heartbroken about a feminine energy who they have a very passionate chemistry with. Hmm. Wow. All right, so let's get into tarot, guys. Of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Tell us more, spirit. So this official person can be a feminine energy who's heartbroken. This may be you or someone within your energy that you may have had some type of chemistry with. Male or female, okay? This feminine energy can be a masculine who's just operated out of his feminine energy. 
show me what I need to see. Tell us more. Thank you. All right, so we have two of wands here. Tell me more. Thank you. We have 10 of cups. So whoever this official feminine energy is who's heartbroken, this is someone who's trying to find their way back to you, possibly for a reconciliation with a family dynamic. This person sees you as their happiness. You're home to this person. You're like their dream come true. And Knight of Wands is in the reverse with the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Chemistry is the Ace of Wands. So someone wants to have a new beginning with you. They're kind of frustrated, feeling the stress of losing you. Wow. Tell us more, spirit. Official person, heartbreak, feminine energy, and chemistry. <clears throat> oh. Thank you. Yeah, remember we saw boredom? Yeah, someone is bored without you. Four of Cups here. Someone is bored without you. They're feeling anxious, restless. They feel like you possibly will reject them if they come back around. Oh, too many spirits, too many. Tell me more. You may have already rejected this person. This could be their heartbreak and they're trying to find a way, some type of way to come back towards you. I'm hearing you're like someone's love of their life. You were their dream come true and they're heartbroken. We have the two of swords in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, someone here is like bored without you. That the fact that you may have already moved on. It's like they have no meaning to their life. You know, they're heartbroken. They're still feeling the grief, loss of you. Or this can be you, whoever this feminine energy is. Hmm. There are possibly some type of delay here, or you may not be in communication with this person. All right, so we have two of cups. So this is a soulmate connection here. This person is heartbroken of the soulmate connection here. Yeah, someone is missing you, five of pentacles. Someone is definitely missing you here, Scorpio. Missing the chemistry that you guys had, the passion, the spark between you guys. They're missing that. They feel bored without you. Hmm. Wow. Tell me more, spirit angels and guides, about this. Too many. Tell me more, spirit, about this energy. All right. What we got here? Wow. Ten of swords. So we have ten, ten here. So that tells me there was an ending. There's a separation between you and this person. And they're still heartbroken about it. Someone who was official in your life. A feminine energy here, Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So we have 4-4 four, four here in 10-10. Wow. See, right now, I feel like you pulled your love away from this person, Scorpio. You have shut off your emotional switch. You know, you're very intuitive. You have this healing, nurturing energy. And I feel like this person is missing that. So it's like, I'm here and trying to find my way back. Someone's trying to find their way back to you after an ending. And see, a lot of you guys, you're holding back from this person. You're not giving them any love. And this has them stuck in their head. Look at there. We have another 10 here. So there was an ending, a very painful ending. This ending runs deep for this person. King of Wands in the reverse here. So, hmm. For some reason, I'm getting like you're being very selfish right now. And it's selfish in a good way. You just, it's like you snatched this love back that you had for this person. And you're pouring it back into yourself. You're holding back from having any type of reconciliation. You know, this person is still holding on to you. Like I said, I feel like this person sees you as home. You're their true love. Wow. With the King of Wands being in reverse, someone here could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It just seems as though you feel like this person had no, no leadership skills. They didn't know how to lead a family. This is someone who could have cheated on you or... You decided to block off this person out of your life. You're not communicating with this person because of their cheating, lying, deceptive ways. Someone who's not in their divine masculine energy. Yeah, you decided to be single from this person because they broke your heart. We have heartbreak here. I'm also getting this person is feeling the loss of you because now you're deciding to be on your own. You know, 
take care of yourself, create your own financial independence, financial stability. It's like you don't need this person anymore. Wow. You're giving back to yourself. They're missing this feminine energy, whoever this person is, you know. They miss the chemistry. They miss the spark between you guys. They're missing that. Wow, we got another 10 here. So 10, 10, 10. That is the highlight for today. There's a lot of endings and new beginnings going on. This person is so burdened. It's killing them about this soulmate connection. They're missing it. Wow. Give me final card here, spirit angels and guides. The weight of the world is on this person's shoulder that you're not talking to them. You're not communicating with them. You're rejecting them. They want to find a way back to this feminine energy. They're missing you, feeling abandoned, left out in the cold from this soulmate connection here. So, wow, a lot of angel numbers here. 22, 22, 10, 10 is here, 44. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, see, the thing is, this person is missing your nurturing energy. I feel like you took care of this person. You were there for this person. You supported this person. You were reliable. Motherly energy. A lot of you guys can be mothers. You could have been married to this person with the official person energy and queen of pentacles. You're this divine feminine energy. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, hangman, the fool, and the world. Yeah, this chapter has closed. You decided to free yourself, become single, start a new beginning for yourself, release and let go, surrender this connection, you know? Look at there, Knight of Wands here again, and the King of Wands. So whoever this is, they wasn't in line with your higher purpose. This person stressed you out with their reckless ways, you know? You, they made you frustrated here because they were sneaky and deceptive here. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So there is definitely a lot of distance between you and this person, and they're definitely bored without you. Yeah. Someone may be bored. If they're dealing with other people, they're bored with the options. They're missing you. They're missing this chemistry, the spark that they have with you guys. Okay? All right, guys. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.